So let's hear it out from the man himself, Mr. Achal Bakeri, CMD at Symphony Limited. He joins us on the show right now to get a, give us a better sense of what really is happening and how their sales are panning out. Mr. Bakeri, pleasure speaking with you, sir. And thank you so much for taking time out for our interview on a holiday of yours. Not at all. Much <laughs> okay. Later. So just wanted well, to understand, as, uh, Mr. Bakeri. Uh, you, you know, certainly, uh, yeah. okay. No, I just wanted to understand, you know, if you would have any statistics, internal ones, are you really seeing tier 2, tier 3 cities, uh, the demand growth being higher than tier 1? Is there any correlation that you could give us as to how the ur urban demand is panning out versus rural demand? No, I would say that uh, in our case at least the rural demand is uh, uh, or the urban demand has been as strong as rural demand. Uh, but, uh, you know, the rural, the, the base in the rural uh, market is, is lower. Uh, so obviously the growth is, um, you know, higher in the, the rural markets. Um, and, uh, you know, with electrification especially, uh, this is, uh, you know, helping. And uh, air coolers are a product which consume very little electricity. So even where they have a simple, um, uh, you know, five uh, uh, watt uh, uh, bulb connection, I'm sorry, power connection, you know, they can uh, use an air cooler, whereas they would need a sort of a 15 uh, watt uh, uh, sort of a connection for uh, uh, for an air conditioner, for example. So certainly, you know, we are seeing uh, our coolers go into places which we have never heard of. We, we seek our service people go into places where there is maybe one uh, you know state transport bus connection per day uh, so uh, we are talking about really uh, small places now we are not talking about the absolute village village in the middle of nowhere we are talking about this slightly you know larger villages or smaller towns that uh, uh, sort of fall somewhere between you know the higher spectrum of rural and the lower spectrum of, of urban and uh, the ki the kind of money that we see you know for example just a little while uh, last month you know we uh, uh, were uh, talking about this uh, wholesaler in the middle of Telangana who gave the kind of money, you know, something like 3 crores of rupees for air coolers in the month of August, you know. Uh, so this is the kind of money that, that exists in, uh, in, in rural India or sort of uh, semi-urban India and uh, their uh, sort of uh, uh, willingness to buy air coolers of, of that uh, order. You know, so certainly we are seeing that attraction and this is not just a recent phenomenon, we have been sort of witnessing this over the years and uh, but as, um, yeah, you know, as years go by, we see an increase in the propensity of people in the, you know, the sort of the so-called rural India to buy products like air coolers. Mr. Bakari, good morning, Nidia Jaya. Uh, what, what a good monsoon, you know, this, this discussion also stems from the fact that a good monsoon would lead to higher rural income and therefore more more spend but what a good monsoon would also do is is in in a manner of speaking make the climate more bearable and therefore uh, my, my question is does it lead to a small decrease in the demand for products such as air coolers well not quite because air coolers you know are typically bought in the summer, you know, so the mon the dip in the temperature may be, um, you know, at this time of the year. Uh, however, uh, you know, the bulk of the cooler purchases at the retail level actually happen starting, say, let's say about January, February in southern India, maybe February, March onwards in central and northern India. Uh, so by then, you know, uh, the summers would anyway be you know what they would be in fact there is a converse uh, sort of a theory that exists uh, you know and that's a trait theory i mean it's not really maybe borne out uh, by by fact but that every monsoon good monsoon is followed by a severe summer you know or a good summer in our in our sense um, so so who knows if that is true then we, you know we're talking about a bumper summer uh, again next year Nidesh, uh, any thoughts you have? Uh, Mr. Bakari, my question will be, is rural uh, area, the rural uh, part of India focused on brand and does branding play a big role in a company like yours or do you face severe competition from unorganized sector and brands don't matter? Well, 
um, you, you know, certainly uh, even today the vast majority, three-fourths of all coolers sold in the country are sold by the unorganized sector. But as, uh, uh, you know, incomes rise, whether they are urban or rural, uh, the, 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 the tendency to upgrade to branded products is witnessed. And that has also been a, a continuous process, you know, I mean, 28 years ago when Symphony was founded, there was nothing like a branded cooler. So over the years, uh, you know, that 100 percent unbranded has shrunk to 75 percent unbranded or in other words, 0 percent branded is, has grown to about 20-25 percent branded. Um, and that's really happened with a, because of a, multiple, a multitude of factors. One is, of course, uh, companies like Symphony coming along with, with better products and branding and marketing them. And then, of course, is the fact that as consumers' incomes rise and you know, they sort of tend to upgrade and aspire to branded products or products that they see on television. We have instances where uh, a farmer, you know, will go to a, sh a store, uh, a showroom and ask for our symphony cooler. He cannot even spell the name. He cannot even uh, pronounce the name. He will say, wo TV wala cooler chahiye. And, uh, you know, he will come with a bag full of cash and he just wants that cooler. Uh, in fact, it even happens that person really is, he is just impressed by what he has seen on television, but he really doesn't know what the product is. So the, so the dealer at times will sort of, you know, try and push him whatever product he has uh, with him at that time. So, but the point is that people do uh, aspire to see, uh, to buy what they see on television, what they think are better products. Uh, so certainly, I think that's a sign of a maturing um, of the the Indian consumer. Thank you. And we see that. Mm. Okay, so in light of that, Mr. Bakeri, uh, how do you anticipate the demand picture to shape up? I know your, 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 your standard guidance has been you will grow at 20-25% uh, for the for CAGR for the next 2-3 years, 4 years as the case may be. I am trying to shift you to thinking short term because of a good monsoon that has happened and the arguable uptick in rural incomes and you know one rank, one pension uh, and Mandrega and a few other schemes. Do you anticipate a strong second half for Symphony? A stronger second half? Well, um, you know, for us, um, I would say this, the, 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 you know, so from all the way from say July up till about uh, February, what we sell is essentially to the trade. And, um, uh, and you know, we are sort of witnessing the same kind of growth that we have in the past so far and that is more a reflection of the trades confidence in the company and the trades confidence in, in the brand and then in their being able to sell uh, the product that they buy from us and that has witnessed um, you know um, a very strong demand uh, but the real crunch is uh, you know in the summer months you know when it depends on how consistent and how severe the summer is across the country and uh, so which is you know all the way from let's say about February onwards up to uh, about June in those months yeah. uh, but so far we are witnessing a very strong growth to answer your question directly um, and uh, you know our quarter that ended in September is also uh, uh, you know was 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 uh, we had seen good growth um, and in the current quarter as well we are seeing a similar kind of a uh, growth but that's like I said that's a reflection more of the the trade uh, sentiment rather than the actual demand uh, in the, at the retail level, uh, which will only be seen, uh, you know, in the summer months. Mm, fair point. Mr. Bakeri, always uh, good to have you on the show. Thank you so much for taking the time out and really helping us, uh, uh, you know, really get an insight on in how this rural as well as urban, urban recovery theme is playing out. Thank you. My pleasure. Nilesh, you know, just one point, Mr. Bakiri threw about a very interesting statistic. He said from 0%, uh, it's only 25% right now, the organi organized branded cooler market, clearly indicating that there's room for many out there up until when we reach 80 or whatever, 75 odd percent. So do you bet on companies like Symphony for the next 10 years or do you think this a company like this would be a more shorter term time play because you don't know how this market is going to grow? So one, this movement from unbranded to branded is continuous. Yeah. Uh, there was a time when we used to make soaps and detergents at home 
and now no one probably makes it. Uh, people have moved to branded items. Now mm. within branded you have super luxury, you have luxury, all you have kinds, economical, yeah. all kinds of things. But I think this aspirational journey is a longer term journey. It's probably going to run far more than 10 years plus and we will see companies which can convert commodities to brand giving super normal return but even companies which can keep on expanding their branded portfolio and if they can come out with brands which cover super luxury, luxury, economical and at the bottom of yeah. the pyramid that also should deliver good return. Mm. So, my, my, so as, as we wrap up this discussion in Asia, we've, we've discussed uh, the 